Hi everyone, I am Melissa McKay with JFrog. I'm here at JFocus uh, at the DevOps Speakeasy, and we have Chris Jenkins with us today. Hello. Um, <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about who you are, where you come from. Yep, uh, I'm Chris Jenkins, I'm from London. Um, I work as a developer advocate for Confluent, which means I spend my days thinking about and talking about and building things with Kafka, Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka. So you had a talk yesterday I did at indeed. JFocus about Kafka. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was about? Yeah, it was um, it was kind of a fun exploration of what Kafka is because it's a lot of people don't know what it is, and um, a lot of people think it's is it a queue? It's an event bus? It's a database? What kind of thing is it? And the best way to answer that kind of question is to build stuff, right? to get your hands dirty and actually build some software and look at it. That's how I learn, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Got to do it, put something together. That's the only way I can understand how it's actually working. Yeah, I, I, I know a couple of people who like read maths papers and see the equations and it's all in their head. I'm not one of those people. I have to write software. So I built, um, I, I, old school, I wrote a text adventure game which if you're a child of the 80s or early 90s, yes. you recognize, right? Yes, absolutely. I think that was one of the first video games uh, that I noticed that um, where you, you uh, read the text, you choose where exactly. you want to go, choose what you want to do. And yes, I remember these. Yeah, it's a great nostalgia trip. But it's also quite, because it's just text, it's quite a good way to get started building a system. It's quite a good hack to do if you want to do it as a side project. Awesome. So Kafka is about events. Yes. So how does this, uh, how do you incorporate that into a game? Yeah, well, um, that is the whole of the talk. You should have come, <laughs> but. <laughs> so you've got, um, if you see it as every time you type something, that's an event, that's a fact that goes into the system. And then the whole trick is about building um, data transformations that say, okay, that string looks like they're trying to move. So let's create an I'm trying to move in this direction event. And then let's join that with some data that says about what the map of the world is. And we can now admit you've moved to the kitchen event. And you can build up this whole stream of de events and transformations into new events and gradually build up a real time game. This is really cool. Yeah, I really do wish that I had made this talk. This sounds really interesting. Oh, I'm sure it'll be available online soon. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Um, speaking of which, so we are here at JFocus. Um, we're holding this event this time in May. This yeah. How do you like it here in Stockholm this, is this my, time of year? This is my first time uh, in Stockholm. I've been to Malmo a few times. It, but I've, it's the warmest I've ever been in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I wish you could see the view we've got out here because it's an absolutely beautiful view behind the camera. Yes, the city on water. For oh. sure. It, it's been amazing. Yeah, nice. This is also my first time here oh in really? Stockholm. Um, I was I packed very warmly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and didn't need to, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, um, so this has been pretty incredible. A friend of mine uh, is Swedish, and she likes to repeat the Swedish phrase that there are no, there's no bad weather, there's no wrong weather, there are just wrong clothes. Right. But that kind <laughs> of that requires sense? a lot of domain knowledge, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, um, you have a podcast. I do, that you do. yeah. Yeah, Tell I get to be on the other side of this equation. Yes. For a change. <laughs> Tell us about that. Where can people go find it? And um, it's, it's on all the usual podcast apps and YouTube. It's called Streaming Audio. Okay. Uh, or the Confluent Podcast. Um, and we talk about event systems. Of course, we talk about Kafka. We talk about um, businesses that are changing the way they build systems to this event streaming world. Okay. And occasionally we have a laugh, too. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. Um, I'm going to have to go check that out. So back to Kafka. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think are the biggest challenges that uh, organizations or developers face when trying to implement a system like that? Ooh, um, I think I think you've got two. Um, and one's the nitty gritty, right? Is um, connecting into different systems, right? Um, one thing that Kafka often gets used for first is like shipping data from here to there. And that's when it looks most like a queue, right? Yes. Um, but then as it gradually builds out, it becomes this kind of integration layer. And sometimes it becomes the central store of event data. And that's when you're 
gradually building up this event-driven picture of a business. But getting started with that can be tricky. On the other side, I think there's a conceptual trickiness to it, because so many of us are absolutely baked in this world of object orientation, yes. where the way you solve problems is you have behavioral objects chatting to each other. And the mindset that it's all just data being transformed into more data is actually quite hard to get your head around, I think. And that's, that's really the reason for my talk, is to try and explain and demonstrate how that different way of thinking works out. That makes sense. And it, the whole idea of just event-driven um, architectures and um, being able to you know, respond appropriately. Um, in the DevOps world, we have um, this idea of like event-driven pipelines, for example. It's yeah. another thing that uh, I've been talking about and experimenting with a little bit, trying to define that, what that means, what that might look like. And you're right, it is a different way of thinking about it. Yeah, it's a world away from that idea where we used to take individual special machines and hand manipulate them so they would talk to each other, right? Right. There's a real parallel to OO and functional programming and all that stuff. Yes, yes. Um, it's interesting how our backgrounds really affect the way we think and how we design things right now. Yeah. And this is something that I find challenging, especially when uh, you know, you've know you got newcomers on the team, uh, people that have just graduated, maybe they have a completely different experience. Yeah. Um, I mean, I remember the very first object-oriented class I took <laughs> and uh, how interesting that was. And, and now we even have languages that just aren't really written that way anymore. Yeah, yeah more absolutely. More functional, more, yeah. It is very interesting. Well, um, what else do you have planned here in Sweden while you're here? Oh, gosh, do you know, one of the things, <laughs> the first time I came to Sweden, I got introduced this to this idea. And now every time I come, I stock up on salted licorice. Salted licorice. I love salted licorice, as it <laughs> turns out, and Sweden seems to lead the world in it. <laughs> so I'm going to be filling my suitcase with this stuff. <laughs> Great. Do you buy a bigger suitcase? You can. Uh, you know, yeah. I really. I just throw away the clothes. I didn't need those <laughs> after all. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm trying to get sponsored by a salted licorice company here in Sweden. <laughs> Maybe I can get a sponsorship. There. Anyone listening out there? <laughs> we have the. the I'll wear the T-shirt, the badge, quite happily. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, any plans to get out on the water? Yes, I'm hoping to. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I hear rumour there's going to be a speaker's dinner somewhere exciting this evening, so I'm looking forward to that, I'm trying to dress up fancy for it. This is true. It's <laughs> a it's a Gatsby thing, so yeah. that's going to be exciting. Uh, we might you know, do some more chatting. Have about a martini cocktail. Events. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amazing. Well, um, are there any other talks or anything else interesting going on here that you've um, seen? I have seen one. I think there's one coming up on Kotlin. On Kotlin? Yes, which okay. is uh, a language I've not dabbled with. And whenever there's a new language on the horizon, I want to know more. So Yes, yes. Uh, especially if it's JVM, because it's like, I, it's so it's nice when you can stay on that familiar platform with all the things you're used to, but try some new ways of solving problems. Yes, I uh, remember when uh, Kotlin started becoming more and more popular. Um, it's, it's definitely an interesting language. I hear that it is much easier, faster to pick up and learn, but very much based on Java, so those of us that are familiar with Java are definitely comfortable. Yeah, I would take, I would take Java didn't actually have native null variables, and that one feature alone would be enough to push me into the curiosity territory, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes. Well, um, there are a lot of other talks going on here at JFocus. Uh, lots about security, about Java, um, more Kafka, um, event-driven architectures, things like that. So um, I'm very interested to see what else is happening, uh, what's coming up next. Um, this is our second day at JFocus. We're almost done. I can't believe we're halfway through yeah. already. It's it's kind of sad. I'm, I want to stay here longer. Yeah, I always feel people. for the people who do the last talk of the conference. Yes. Because you can't really think, until you've done your talk, you can't stop and enjoy it, right? That's true. That's true. Um, that happened to me yesterday. Actually, <laughs> I have my talk later in the day, and I just thought about it all day long. Yeah, <laughs> so. and now in theory, you get to relax and enjoy yeah. the conference. <laughs> yes, very much so. All right. Well, thank you, Chris Jenkins. It was a pleasure talking to you. It was fun. Thank um, you. I hope to speak to you again, certainly at the Gatsby at the, dinner. At the party this evening. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Cheers.